Hi, Melissa with Hosting Butterflies here. Today we're going to talk about milkweed seeds, 30-day cold stratification, and germination. We are going to be using our pink swamp milkweed seeds and our orange butterfly weed seeds. And we are going to try five different experiments using roughly five seeds each because they come with about 25 seeds. And we're going to kind of see just what we can get away with without cold stratification. Our seeds are non-GMO and they uh, come with our um, specialty plant tags that are made for um, identifying the caterpillars that are eating the milkweed and the butterflies that lay eggs on there. First, we're gonna try um, the seed cell tray by uh, Braintree, I think is the brand. And how this works is the dome has this little light here that you affix to the top. You just pop it right on there and The bottom here, before I forget, holds the water so you don't have to keep watering it all the time. And the best part about this, which I love, is that you are watering from the bottom and not from the top, which is what you want to do because you want the um, roots to grow deep. But if you're always watering from the top, then your roots are always going to stay more surface because the that's where the moisture is. But watering from the bottom forces the roots to grow downward seeking water. So I like this idea. I like the idea of them having their own little grow lights, their humidity has a humidity control, and we're gonna just close off this whole little thing here so that we can have absolutely no air coming in at all. And we can pull, push that to the side there. All right, so this is one way we're gonna do it. The other way we're gonna do it is we are going to do what is called jarmation, where you snip the ends with some clippers and then you stick them in water until they germinate, and then you put them in a glass jar with a lid and they're supposed to sprout, so we're gonna try that. We're also going to wet some paper towel and put them in baggies. I'm trying to decide if I wanna try um, the wet paper towel method with some of them being snipped and some of them not being snipped. Yeah, I think we'll try that. I think we'll do that because I'm just pretty interested in that. I think we'll do that actually with all of them. We'll try some of them with snipping and some of them with without, so. I think that'll be kind of fun to try. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these little grow bags, these little grow bags with soil. We're gonna stick them in here. And this is, I liked this method because I can fit a whole bunch of grow bags in here. I love the idea of the grow bags because there's absolutely no plastic involved whatsoever other than the tote, but this tote I can use over and over and over again. So, but these then, once they are ready to go in the ground, you just stick the whole bag in the ground because they are um, biodegradable. And then we're just going to put the top on until they germinate, and then we'll leave the top off. The other one, which I'm kind of excited to try, um, when the kids were younger, we went to um, the Children's Museum, and they had the kids all start um, bean seeds in a little cup like this, or a little container like this. They put a little bit of soil in there, and then the idea is that you leave the lid on, you never take it off, because the moisture from the humidity... Um, continually drops down and keeps it nice and moist and supposed to like just be able to grow. It actually worked really well until one day we took the lid off and then it didn't work so well anymore. So, but we're going to give that a try too. So let's get started, shall we? All right. So when you're going to trim them, you're going to trim just the tip right here, right there because that's where the roots come out. And the other part of it is where the cotyledon leaves are. <laughs> I'm gonna put the snipped ones in the first tray, the first row. And the non-snipped ones, in the second row.
Next, we're going to use warm water. And we're going to mist. had a little mishap so I had to add some seeds to these. Okay so we're gonna check the swamp milkweed. Oh my goodness you guys look at this. Look at that! I'm trying to turn it over. We have a sprout day one. Oh, we have <gasps> all right so this one is cut and this one is not oh and look at that there's a sprout coming out of the end of that one what how can that be all right let's see sure enough that is a crazy seed. Oh, and look at this, our orange. <gasps> We've got two sprouts for the orange milkweed seeds from the snipped ones, nothing from the non-snipped ones. Well, this is very exciting. Let's see here. Oh, that one does not, that one looks too fuzzy. Oh. That one's got a sprout. That one was snipped. That's the pink swamp. Ooh, look at the orange. Looks like, okay, so the orange butterfly weed germinated much faster in the water. Looks like all of them are starting to germinate, except for maybe one. All right, that's exciting. It's gonna be hard to tell with this one about germination. So this one, we're gonna to have to end up. This one, we're just gonna to have to wait until we see shoots for this one, because we can't open it. But we can open this one. Uh-oh, that's no good. Oh, 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 but look at, we have germination here too. And germination, this is the pink swamp, you guys. Look at that, three of them, wow. Wow, and that's a snipped one. No, is it? No, this is not a snipped one. Interesting, this one's coming out the back. That's interesting. Because these are the snipped ones. Oh, I think I see a little germination there. Let's look at the orange. Ooh, the orange too. This is exciting. Okay, we're just shy of 48 hours. Let's see what we got growing here. Ooh, so this is the uncut swamp milkweed seeds. Look at that. There is no doubt that they have grown in the last 24 hours. These ones have not been nipped at the tip. These ones have been nipped at the tip. And then I'm not seeing a whole lot of action here. Let's see. No, 
Nope, I'm not seeing much action. Maybe a smidge gonna happen there. All right, let's look at the orange. Ooh, okay, so these are the orange non, non-snipped ones. Oh no, these are the snipped, we'll have to look. But anyway, regardless, look it. They are growing, that has grown a lot since yesterday. So these ones are not the snipped ones. And they are growing well too germinating well I should say all right so let's no see anything in here oh well maybe we can let's see uh, no oh oh see the possibility of a little little white tip maybe oh definitely see a little bit of white there too okay and that is the pink yes that's the pink swamp all right, let's turn around. I don't think we'll see anything this way. Okay, well, we see there's a little action. All right, let's look in here. Still not a whole lot happening there. A little bit there, but not much. That was the pink swamp. Okay. You can definitely see that there's germination. That one definitely got bigger. Let's see. You move them around a little. Kind of hard to tell. There we go. There's a better picture. Okay, so there is still the germination, although this has not grown near as much as what uh, the stuff in the soil has. Okay, now I'm excited about this. Let's see. Not much change in these ones at all. And that's the pink swamp. All right, now let's take a look at the orange butterfly weed. Oh, there's definitely been a lot of change here. Look at that. That has grown huge since then, since yesterday. That's less than 24 hours of growth right there. All right, so it's three weeks later. Let's take a look at what we got, shall we? All right, we're going to start with the cell germination. Um, in the first row, I put the snipped seeds. Remember, I snipped the seeds with the um, clippers. And in the second row, I put the non-snipped ones. So on this side, we have the orange butterfly weed. And on this side, we have the pink swamp milkweed. And as you can see here, the orange butterfly weed that was not snipped is doing really well. The stuff that was snipped, I have one little germination just now starting. And then on this side here with a pink swamp, remember this one here started germinating right away, and but then nothing happened from there. And this is the pink swamp snipped side. And then this is the pink non-snipped. So, and you can see here, I have a little germination just now starting. So we're gonna keep plugging away at this and just kind of let it grow and see what happens. Now we're gonna take a look at the, the jarmation. Now remember the jarmation, we started with snipping seeds with snipped seeds and non-snipped seeds in water, and we were waiting for it to germinate. And after a few days, I got a little nervous that it would um, that they would get moldy. And I did see some germination starting, so I thought, okay, it's a good time to put them in some in the jars. And this is the results. The results are, and I did have a little bit of a mishap because I uh, put the seeds in here and then poured a little more water and ended up burying the seeds. So I tried digging them all out, but I definitely did not find all of them. I do have one seed that is starting to germinate, but um, of the pink swamp, but it's kind of moldy. And I'm uncertain whether it is, um, whether it was snipped or not. And then the orange butterfly weed, you can see here is, do I have one that is doing really well, one out of four. And I have another one that is just starting to germinate a little bit. So we'll have to keep our eye on that. So this is the orange milk, orange butterfly weed, and that's the pink swamp milkweed. But we're just gonna, like I said, keep going and we're gonna see what happens. I will say though that so far this one is my least favorite. Oh, next on our list is the paper, the ones that we put in paper towels and put in the Ziplocs. 
So what I have found with that is they did start germinating a little bit. Um, and then I, again, didn't want them to end up um, getting moldy. So I put them in grow bags, but then also I had a little mishap with them because I accidentally opened them up and let them dry out. So and then I quickly hydrated them again and the orange milkweed, the orange butterfly weed seems to be doing real well. So we have the orange butterfly weed and that is actually the non-snipped one. And here is the snipped. And then the pink swamp, nothing for either the snipped or the non-snipped. Uh, and then the ones that I planted directly in the grow bags, these ones are actually doing the best. See here, I have two orange butterfly weed that are growing here. And these two are, these are doing fantastic. And actually, oh, and you can see here, I think, Hopefully it, hopefully it focuses in for you, but you can see here that I have roots growing out of the bag already. Those were the non-snipped. And then the snipped ones, I've got those two growing in too. So those did really well. Now for the pink swamp, the non-snipped ones did great and are growing just as much as the, almost as much as the orange butterfly weed, but then the non-snipped, nothing. And now for my favorite, I am so excited. This one is really cool. It worked, so this is fun. All right, so see here, our little dome. So let's see if we can get this to focus in here. So as you can see here, they are growing really tall and doing really well. Um, everything on this side over here is all orange butterfly weed and it looks like all four of them came up. And then this one over here is starting to migrate this way, but this is the pink swamp and that one is doing really well too. Only one of them, and of course, I don't know whether or not this one is the snipped or the non-snipped, but I'm gonna guess that it's the non-snipped one because none of the snipped ones are doing well at all. See here? So far, so far my feelings on um, my experiment are, um, I won't snip seeds ever again because I, it frankly just takes too much time, it's too tedious, and I just, I don't care for it. Um, and I actually get better results without snipping them than I do with snipping them. As far as the pink swamp milkweed goes uh, without German, uh, without cold stratifying them, it seems to me that the grow bags, putting them right in the, directly in the grow bags um, actually gives me the best results, more so than anything else. Um, and they definitely are not the snipped ones, so definitely the snipped ones are, they're just not doing well. This one here, remember we have one, whoops, we have one non-snipped one that is starting to germinate. Um, so yeah, I would say that I definitely won't do the germination ever again. Uh, I think that I will definitely just snip, snip <laughs> I will definitely just stick with the grow bags because it's less fuss. Um, I'm all about the less work, the better. I don't want, I have too many things to do to be snipping seeds and, um, you know, fussing with transferring and transplanting, all that kind of stuff. I don't want to be doing that. So my recommendation so far, but we're going to come back in another three weeks. My recommendation so far is not to snip them, to stick them directly in the soil that you um, plan on um, keeping them in. Um, and as far as the cold stratification goes, well, so far out of all of the swamp milkweed that does require cold stratification, I have three of them that are growing really well, one that is sprouting, uh, and we'll just have to kind of check back and see what happens because pink swamp milkweed does take longer to germinate sometimes than the orange butterfly weed does. So we're gonna just keep on watching and see what happens.